Note the Naruto fans clicking on my video. Hey! Besties, thank you so much for checking out my video where I show you how I installed this hair and did the full makeup look. I know the video is a little lengthy, but I go into detail of the entire hair process as well as the makeup. So let's get into it, besties. Hey everyone, Miss Kabumba here. So this is day one of Fan Expo, I believe. I'll be installing my first wig. Last time y'all saw me with the glueless wig. This time, it's a whole lace frontal. It is 6 a.m. before work. I just need to know that my hair is done before getting into the makeup and the whole costume. Anyways, let's go. All right, so here I try to aesthetically open the box and... Of course, I almost dropped the whole thing. Cue the 2012 YouTube music. I'm showing you everything that's in the box, which is a letter. Ooh, wig band. Okay. The wrong wig cap. Bruh. And lashes. Get into it. Y'all, this is me unboxing the hair for the very first time. When I saw it in a box, I was like, oh, it's giving brown, but it will look so good on me. I am so excited. I've been planning these cosplays for a minute now. Holy cow. I'm hyped. I'm hyped. I'm hyped. I'm literally feeling the whole process of me taking everything out. Oh my gosh. I'm so hyped. Okay. We're gonna take this off. As you can see, I got fresh cornrows. Thank you, Kemi. That a lot of curl right here. I'm gonna start by putting the wig cap. That's step eleven. This is good. Everything covered. Y'all, this wig is already pre-plugged. I spent 180 Canadian dollars on it. And it already has the baby hairs. I didn't cut baby hairs in my last wig because I'm not super into the wing. Okay, let's go. Alright, so step two, we're gonna change the lacy lace color. I finally start putting powder all over the wig because you got to blend it into your, you know, skin tone and powder just does it for me. Step two is completed. As you can see, I put powder on the lace. Step three, we're going to put it on and cut this excess. Okay, moment of truth. I mean, the hair is not done. We're just trying it on. You don't see the transition. Oh my gosh, I used a hair wax stick. I've seen a lot of people who do wigs wear this. And this helps with just push the hair a bit back. Period. I'm so professional. Okay, so I use these huge scissors to cut the lace. Because we're not going to keep the lace on. We're cutting the lace. Um, I don't use the huge scissors all throughout. I just use it to take out the big chunks. Then I went in with mini scissors to cut closer to the hairline. But I'm only showing the process with the big scissors. Okay y'all, now that everything's cut, this is transparent lace. It's not HD lace like the last one I had. Thus I can still see some of my skin. I'm gonna try blending it with some foundation and powder again. Alright, I realized I definitely need to apply foundation. As you can see guys, this is after adding foundation to the lace. So, powder works a bit, but adding foundation just blends it out way better. Anyways, we're gonna get into the gluing process. And I'm pushing the wig back. I need to do this so I can apply glue all around like my skin. This is where I place it because I know the lace is going to go right on top of it. So, when it comes to glue, you're going to do one layer just like this. Until you add the other layers. And I just want to make sure I got everywhere where I wanted it. I grabbed, um, this came in the hair bag, so basically it's used for edges and like glue. So I grab the blow dryer 
yeah and then i start blow drying this is the first layer of glue i have on because we're gonna go in with more glue a bit later i do this until it's basically completely dry and when it's completely dry i add a second layer of glue and how do you know it's dry you ask you know it's dry when it becomes more and more transparent and i have to add glue on the lace I just went and ate breakfast. I have to admit, it did take around two, it, it felt like a long time to just cut and glue everything down. It felt like even an hour for it to, to see it dry. I was blow drying it, but then I'm like, I'm hungry and I let it kind of air dry. So let's get into the closure process. Okay. As you can see, I had glue on the wig too. Okay. All right, let's get into it. Let's get into fixing this. So I kind of did the baby hairs, just like two sections. It didn't cut, I just glued it down. But anyways, we have to straighten and brush this out okay so i have to section the hair the hair is very thick it's yaki textured because i wanted to have kind of a natural hair texture as opposed to bone straight so i put it in two different sections i believe and the third section i have out in which i'm straightening the hair so honestly this took about 10 minutes without the speeding through process because right now your guys are watching the fast-paced version. It took 10 minutes to just do that small section. So I wanted to make it as straight as I could get with the yaki textured, but not bone bone straight. You know what I mean? The fact that I've only done basically just one half. Y'all, this takes so long because I woke up at six. I woke up at six, this whole hair process. It's like 8.30 now, but it's the first time I'm doing this. <sighs> All right. And after I straightened the entire hair all over my head, I go in with the curls. This is how I curl, and then I wait. I wait quite a bit, not gonna lie. Well, I think when it comes to your natural hair, curling it, you're not gonna hold it for too, too long because you obviously don't want to burn it. But with the wig, I hold it for even almost a minute. But I don't have the hottest, um, a a. I I don't have the hottest curling iron. So maybe it's one or two minutes, so I held it. But don't do this if your curling iron is super, super hot. Leave it on for a little less. And that's how I drop it. Make sure the curls look nice. So from the back of my hair, the curls are a bit looser, but from the front, they're a bit tighter. Dang, I really slayed my first wig install. Oh my gosh. Love it, love it, love it. I decided to curl my hair because I felt like it would be way cuter compared to when it was just straightened. I am loving it. I don't think this process was to take this long but i am a beginner this is the first time i installed a wig on my head now time for the butter hairs i'm feeling like a ton of the ton here oh oh you fancy huh oh you fancy huh oh you fancy huh oh you fancy huh Nails done, hair done, everything did. Nails done, hair done, everything did. Oh, you fancy her. Huh? Where are the other lyrics? Go Cinderella, go Cinderella. Uh, 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 We love Drake over here. Oh my gosh. I want to zoom in and show you guys like how bouncy the curls are. I think the install and the hair on me was 10 out of 10. But in terms of a quality, I would say 8 out of 10. All right, I am back and I changed my outfits. We're going to get into the makeup. It all starts with primer. I used the Rimmel London primer. 
before I do makeup. I use the Manga Anime Palette by Rude Cosmetics. Those are the three colors I used on my eyebrows. It's looking chunky, it's looking a little crazy, but you gotta trust the process. This is where foundation and concealer is really gonna help us shape everything. This is the foundation I used by Uma. Uma is a black owned brand. So I kind of just showed how I put three dots of foundation and I use a brush to outline around my eyebrows. Okay, so I outlined the other eyebrow and I just wanna show you guys the difference. It already looks so much better. So you need foundation if you're gonna do your eyebrows. And I put foundation on the rest of my face. Yeah, get into it. We feeling cute. We keep feeling cute or whatever. And this is the Born This Way concealer that I use around my eyebrows as well as my eyelids. And just to highlight where it needs to be highlighted. So concealer really helps popping out your eyebrows because foundation ain't enough. If you really want your eyebrows to pop out, this is what you got to do. Notice how I didn't use too much concealer. The foundation is obviously like a bit heavier than the concealer because I spread it around my face more. But the concealer, since I'm only using it around my eyebrows and eyelids, I barely put some on. I want the blending to be very neat. Like very balanced. I don't want no patchy skin over here. No patchy makeup. Only nice makeup. <laughs> it's wrong with me. Anyways, yeah, this is how it looks. We don't use sponges over here. We're team brushes. And as for the concealer that's on my eyelids, I know this blending may look crazy to some people, but I just use the brush that I typically use for foundation or powder, and I spread it around my eyelids for the concealer. I'm not in eye primer girl i'm just a like i don't have eyeshadow primer i have concealer and honestly that works perfectly on my skin because i use really pigmented palettes this is me using the rude cosmetics palettes where i'm putting the red around my eyelids like that you see that space i left there i left that space because i knew i was gonna go back in with the concealer because i'm doing a cut crease Yes, Team Cut Crease over here, O to 2016. This is the lilac color I decided to use on my inner eye corners. I really like um, the contrast between these two colors. Usually when someone does a cut crease, the inner eyes where the crease is, is lighter. And then outside of it is a bit darker. I'm going in again with a different type of lilac. This is the lilac from the Sailor Moon palettes by Color ColourPop Cosmetics. Honestly, I love ColourPop. True to the name, the colors really pop on your skin tone, girl. Girl, boy, anybody watching, they really just be popping. Like, and I kept this video this long because I want to show you guys how long it takes me to blend everything out, which doesn't take too too much time but to get those colors pigmented i of course go in with usually a second layer this is me going in with the nyx cosmetics red eyeshadow going back with foundation so of course we're gonna get fallout when we do eyeshadow that's normal it happens to most people all you have to do is fix it with foundation Anyhow, I go back in with some NYX Cosmetics. I barely added, I barely added the red on my brush 
because I know how pigmented it is. And I like putting it along my um, cheekbones, my chin, and my nose. I know the angle looks a little crazy. Y'all seeing up in my nostrils, but guess what? We got no bats in a cave. Here is the Maybelline Loose Finishing Powder. I'm a ride or die for this one. I've been using it <laughs> since I started makeup. I've been using it for eight years. So I just spread powder around my face, not where the blush is because I still want the blush to pop. I only put a little on. This really helps set the makeup. We're almost done at this point. I grabbed the Sailor Moon Color Pop Cosmetics Palette once again because I'm gonna need it for highlights. I know you guys are probably gonna be like, Carol, why are you spreading highlight all over your face like that? You need to blend it out. Trust and believe I blend it out later with my powder brush. So you're just going to throw a highlight on your face. Not crazy now, because you know I didn't do it crazy. So don't blame me if you're not following the instructions. <laughs> I'm looking very 80s. I put my earrings on. Anyways, I did the lip gloss. I'm not done the makeup yet because I still have to do eyelashes and the dots that are on Payne's face. I just want to show a little bit of freestyle that on my eyes. So where I put the purple eyeliner, I decided to put black eyeliner as well. Cause it was like, oh no, I'm doing this look. I'm not a contact person. That's why the eyes are purple and red. But anyways, we're gonna do the dot process and lashes. Then I can finally take the hair clips out because you see the full fit and a photo shoot. Yeah. So from here, the makeup was pretty much done. Oh my gosh. The little features I added before, as I said, was just eyeliner along with lip gloss. So this is how I'm doing the piercings that Payne has. I didn't use like fake gems because I didn't have them. I just decided to focus on a makeup look. So eyeliner would be a great substitution. Anyone who sees you knows you're dressing, would be knowing you're dressing up as Payne. Oh, also, if your hands aren't as steady as, I suggest you use guidelines. So, guidelines before eyeliner so you don't mess up. This is me finishing my makeup with the NYX Setting Spray Matte Finish. You cannot tell me I'm not him. You can't tell me I'm not him. Just, um, hold on, focus, come back. Just black girl version and a baddie. Come on, come on. Go. I have to show y'all the rest of the outfit. The rest of the outfit. Everyone know Akatsuki just goes so hard. Oh my gosh, baddie pain, I did that. And there we have it, that is my final look. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you all so much. So I have new videos Tuesday, Thursdays, sometimes Sundays. So the next video, if it's not coming out this Sunday, it's coming out Tuesday. I'll see you soon. Mwah.